Hi there, I'm Jim Coffey. I design and create automata in my studio in Escondido, California. Today is the 3rd of October, 2023, and this video is to introduce to you the first member of the Beam Engine Band, the pianist. Here she is. In July 2023, I finished adding the mini carnival to my street organ. The mini carnival makes people happy. It was performing well and successfully entertaining folks. As an active member of the automata community, I had vi been visiting the Timber Kits website occasionally, seeing what they were up to. I had not been tempted to order from Timber Kits because I'm fully capable of designing and creating my own automata. I once again browsed the Timber Kits website and noticed that they had a series of musicians. Then, as I played my street organ in public, I contemplated adding musicians to my show. I also noticed that Timber Kit sells a nice little beam steam engine. I made the decision to add the beam engine band to my street organ. The band would be composed of 10 highly modified Timber Kits musicians and the band would be powered by a beam engine. I'm an artist and craftsman and I'm fully capable of creating these musicians but saw no reason to do so. The Timber Kits designers had invested a lot of time and energy into each automaton. As I studied each one, I saw things that I wanted to change, but I also saw the beauty of starting with the Timber Kits. I ordered 10 musicians and a beam engine from Timber Kits. Other than being a satisfied Timber Kit customer, I have no affiliation with Timber Kits. That said, I have observed that they usually have one or two 20% discounts active. I used one when I ordered my 11 timber kits, just saying. The first musician that I've completed is the pianist. This video shows you a bit of that process. The timber kits are proper kits, well packaged and organized. The parts are made from high quality hardwoods. The instruction manual is complete and logical and well laid out. Because I'm an artist, and because the automatons were going to be powered and used in a performance environment, and because they would need to be serviced at times, I knew that I would not be following the timber kit's construction plans. I knew that I would be modifying each kit. The largest deviations that I made with the pianist were, one, the substitution to a 3D printed head, two, the addition of piano strings, this required a re-engineering of the device that causes uh, torso and foot motion. Three, the substitution to stainless steel shafts. Four, the addition of several ball bearings. Five, the bulking out of some of the wood shapes with wood putty and fillers to enhance the shape of the pianist. Six, the kit is designed to be glued into one unit because I wanted to be able to service the pianist and wanted to be able to disassemble it into logi logical units without breaking glue joints, I had to modify the design. And of course, I wanted it motorized. The realistic head is important to me. I think that an audience relates better to that type of detail. I designed the head using Make Human software and then 3D printed it using an Elegoo Mars 2 Pro resin printer and ABS-like resin. I felt the piano string should absolutely be present. In order to accomplish this, I had to re-engineer, relocate the mechanism that causes the foot and torso movement. The piano strings that I installed are stainless steel wire. Because the different parts of this automaton would be cycling under power thousands of times per performance, I replaced all wood dowels with stainless steel shafting, and in the case of the drive shaft, also included ball bearings. This eliminated any wood turning within wood. The main cams and the piano keys remain wood on wood. I've heavily waxed those surfaces and then finished the process by heating the wax surfaces with my heat gun. This melts the wax to a degree into the wood. 
in situations where I need to add material to something, it's not uncommon for me to reach uh, for my container of wall speckling patch. I use a, a brand, uh, a DAP brand called Drydex. It's pink when you apply it, it then turns white when it's dry. I have found it easy to apply, easy to shape and sand, easy to paint, and it's durable. The hands are necessarily quite large. I was able to successfully remove a lot of the material from the hands and to further shape them, thus reducing their apparent size. The pianist's backstory is that her day job is in a cookie bakery. She specializes in efficiently hand mixing chocolate chip cookie dough, my favorite. The pianist was fastened using, in most cases, CA glue or 256 stainless steel machine screws. I rarely use nuts, preferring T nuts, blind nuts, which I super glue in place. I've been known to drill and tap wood so that I can fasten directly into it. When I do this, I treat the tapped threads with CA glue. It soaks in and strengthens the threads and makes the tapped threads very reliable. The beam engine band will be driven by gear motors. Power is 110 volts AC, supplied by a Ryobi power source and Ryobi lithium batteries. Onboard Meanwell power supplies convert the 110 volts AC to the required DC. In this situation, the gear motors consume less than one watt. The pianist is the first of 10 musicians that will be on stage. As I create them, I need to ensure that they are visually compatible and that they move credibly. As of this date, the pianist has performed only one time, her first time in public. A bit bashful at first, she was admired. She's a, she is a success. Soon to appear on stage behind her will be a woodwind player. I'll create another video when that happens. It's my expectation that I will have completed the beam engine band within the next five months or so. It pleases me that I'm able to create these little machines. They fascinate people and they spread happiness. I can't help thinking that in this day and age of computer graphics and artificial intelligence and video screens, that these little real machines stand apart from normal daily experiences. These machines, these automatons, coupled with the street organ music are a pleasant experience for all age groups. Thanks for watching.